This is very cool. My first guest, Oscar-winning actor and a genuine screen legend, of course. He's in California for the Long, uh, Long Beach Grand Prix, Toyota Grand Prix. Uh, this weekend, we are thrilled that he could stop by and see us for a visit. This is very exciting. The one, the only, Paul Newman, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for coming. Thanks for inviting me. Oh, it's very exciting. I, I love you as an actor and as a car guy, because you've always been you one too. of my heroes. In fact, there's an urban legend that's been bothering me since I was in high school. A friend of mine told me he was going through your town, Westport, Connecticut, like in the late 60s, early 70s, and a Volkswagen pulled up that appeared to have a Porsche engine in it and blew his doors off. And he said, I'm sure it was Paul Newman. Was that you? That was before I put the Ford engine in. Oh, it was you. Oh, it was you. It was you. Well, yeah, you see? I, that? I put a Ford V8 engine in. Oh, that's Volkswagen, very cool. And it, uh, it didn't work. No? No. But please. see, I have carried that question really since high school. And I told my friend Louis, when he comes on, I'm going to find out. So that was you that blew his doors off. Well, that's I very blew cool. a lot of doors off. Yeah, I yeah. Think. That's very cool. You ever go to the Big Top? Uh, you remember uh, uh, there was a hamburger place in Westport, the Big Top? We used sure. to hang out and used to... On the post road. That's right. We used to do burnouts and race and all that. Were you ever that childish? Would you hang around and look for street No, races? I stopped doing that when I got to be 75. Oh, I remember. That was very good. <laughs> <laughs> now, you got the, uh, the uh, Champ Car Series, the big race, Toyota Grand Prix, uh, tomorrow, this weekend. Uh, for people who don't know, for non-race fans, explain what Champ Car is and what the whole deal is. What is Champ Car? Well... Long Beach is probably one of the great street courses oh, yeah. uh, and street races in the world. And uh, Champ Car has been racing there for 22 years, and the cars are very sophisticated. Um, they are aerodynamically designed so that they would literally stick to the ceiling at 140 miles an hour. Yeah. Try that sometime. <laughs> <laughs> there isn't a ceiling that's long enough, actually, no. for it. And, um, uh, Mario Andretti was our first driver here. It was one of the few races that Mario never won. And uh, it's a great festival. It's a great carnival. Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a lot of fun. And it's, uh, it's the best racing in the country. Last year, we had uh, 50,000 people there on Friday, 60,000 on Saturday, and 78,000 on race day. Well, that's pretty amazing. And some other series is trying to take over. And we'll keep it's it going to be... It'll, well, it'll be too bad. They ought to do an economic uh, impact uh, study on what's happened with IRS when they, yeah. IRL when they come to other towns. Well, I, I hope it stays at Champ Car Series. Yes. I hope it will. Now, how long have you been a, te a team owner? How long? 1983. Okay, 1983. And uh, when, when did you first get into racing? When did you, you started a little later in life, right? Joanne and I did a film about racing, and it took me about three years before I could get um, uh, Going, I started racing in 1972. Okay. But that's still fairly late, though, right? For, I, mean, I was 47, yeah. Okay. I mean, what, what brought you into it at that point? Was it... Just was it, insanity. Yeah, really? Just, <laughs> were you just so taken with it? Did it... No, I just... It, um, I had tried all kinds of sports, skiing and tennis and everything, and I was never able to find any, any physical grace. And the only time I was ever graceful athletically was in a car. Well, that's interesting. Okay. I mean, did you, did, you, uh, be, did you get right into it, or did you train for, like, a long time? Were you, were you nervous that they would come down, oh, a movie star? Did you get a lot of that when you first started? You know, I got a lot of it, and it was well-deserved. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I think I put somebody else's shoes on this one. Really? <laughs> These are really short shoes. They are? Like, you know, I, I don't know what to tell you there. I wish I could help you, but... If I was a horse, I wouldn't run in these shoes. Really? No. <laughs> you know, I don't know any horse that would run in those shoes, really, now that you, now that you mentioned These them. are the last of the canvas shoes. Really? That, that's important. Okay. Oh, oh, all right. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll give you that. 
I'll give you that. Let they, me ask you something. Because, hey, see, I, I'm married, you're married, and, and, and the wife issue is always tricky when you have things that roll and explode and make noise. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I'm saying? You know, I go through this all the time. Where are you going? I'm just going out. Where are you? You're not going out. No, I'm not going to do anything stupid. But, you, you know, because it's, you know. How do you handle it? How, how was your wife, Joanne? How was she, how was she with this? Did, did she get into the racing? Did she just love it? Did she keep a uh, back? She was a devoted spectator for my racing for the first 15 years. Yeah. And then after that, she said, <laughs> Really? Yeah. Yeah. But she's been, uh, she's been patient beyond belief and supportive. And yeah. uh, uh, she doesn't buy jewelry. She doesn't buy dresses. She buys insurance. Oh, <laughs> Very good. <laughs> That's terrific. Look, we'll take a break. More with Paul Newman right after this. Be right back. We're talking with uh, actor and race car driver Paul Newman. What was that? Your lucky charm you just showed me? Show no. Me. For my 80th birthday, uh, my cousin gave me this. Uh, can everybody see this? It's a first century BC Greek coin, and it's got my picture on it. <laughs> that's how old I am. Wow. <laughs> now, you've, uh, you've had some close calls in the racing car, right? What's, what's the most dangerous one you've had so far? Well, I, the wonderful thing about racing is, is that if you miss, it's as good as a mile. So yeah. I never think, I haven't been hurt yet, right. and uh, so I don't think about it. It's always, and your wife is watching. Yeah. <laughs> but you, well, you had one in Daytona, right, that, that, that looked pretty scary? Well, the, the car caught on fire. Yeah. <laughs> But as I say, if you get away from it, it's, yeah. it's okay. See, that's hard to explain to the wife. But I say, honey, it's an oil fire, so it doesn't burn like a gas fire. That, that works. That, it's, 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 it's slow. Now, what happened at the Baja 1000? I know you wanted to do that race, and what happened there? Well, nothing. We got in the car, and, and we ran a short series, and then our car broke down a little bit later, so we finished fourth, I think. Now, now what is it? It's, it's 1,000 miles. Just across rugged terrain, pretty much, right? In dune buggy, right? Dune buggy type vehicle. They have all different kinds of classes. Yeah, yeah. Some of the trucks are 800 horsepower, and yeah. uh, uh, the dune buggies are a couple hundred horsepower, 1,400 pound car. Now, do you like that driving in the desert the, and the sand? Dirt, the dirt is always great to drive. We drove sprint cars yesterday. Yeah. Now, those are like 800 horsepower. 1,200 pounds. 12, 1,200 pounds. Well, that's, yeah, that's a good power to weight ratio. Yeah, sure, sure. Now, you're also in the Guinness Book of World Records, right? I am? Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't you have, don't, aren't you in there in the category? I don't know. I think, no. <laughs> well, I, well, I read it. I think, I think you're the oldest person ever to win a major race. Isn't that right? If they say so. 